The Man in the Arena by Theodore Roosevelt It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Muhammad Ali once said, He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. We will encounter countless setbacks and defeats throughout our lives. There will be times when giving up and quitting seem like the only option. Failure is a part of life and something we must all experience in the pursuit of our goals. As Rocky Balboa tells his son, Rocky Jr., it isn't about how hard you can hit but how hard you can get hit and get back up, how much you can take and keep moving forward. Simply put, it is not defeat that defines us, but choosing to get back up and try again. It is our resilience in the face of adversity that really counts. At times, you may have to rely upon yourself for support. People close to you will often try to dissuade you from chasing your dreams because your ambition reflects their lack of courage to do more with their lives. Their comfort with mediocrity will limit them from being truly successful. It is easy to be the critic in the stands and judge those competing on the field, but nothing worthwhile is easy. While they may mock those who are defeated, the critic will never know what it's like to feel their heart racing and hear the crowd roaring as the competitor enters the arena. Even in defeat, the man in the arena, who put blood, sweat, and tears into their art, is many times greater than the person unwilling to glove up and step into the ring. History does not remember spectators and critics, it remembers those who dared to be great. This is the warrior philosopher building the foundations of the warrior philosophy.